Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh Gorantla and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. This is a mobile app testing. Okay. And here we can able to discuss about introduction about mobile app and uh, types of apps we presented. Here is apps. Okay. Why Appium server and uh, Appium architecture? How the flow architecture flow will happen and everything we are going to discuss in, in this video okay basically here what i can able to say in a real uh, life humans are using more and more mobile application mobile right they are easily to interact with the friends family members or uh, any information we can able to send very fast that is a why it is uh, playing a key role in a number of days. Each and everyone using for these mobiles. Okay, the mobiles, whether which OSS is using, because our laptops, we have iOS and Windows operating and Linux is present there, right? The similar format, whether we have uh, any OSS for mobile means, yes, we have mobile OSS mobile OS okay what all the things are presented in our market Android is the key role of using for huge huge members are using this Android is developed by Google Google inch we can able to say and this is high why high means the huge number of members are using Android okay then after that we can able to say ios is the one one are the uh, most widely used members this is developed by apple inch this also we can able to say hi so many people are using nowadays okay and after that we can able to say blackberry 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 is very low we can able to say very less people developed by blackberry itself and after that we can able to say windows windows oss are also present for the mobile this is developed by microsoft microsoft company microsoft inch we can able to say this is a medium size of people are using this particular windows okay and also what are types of uh, apps are presented uh, types of apps types of apps there are three types of apps are presented one is web app and another one is native app and we have hybrid hybrid app what all the three things can do web app is nothing but in our you can able to say like you are opening your laptop and browser you're searching something you're working right the similar format in mobile also each mobile can have some browsers okay we can able to use all the browsers in a uh, mobile also okay in that browser if you open if you're searching something if you're doing something that is called we can able to say web app means which is the work you are doing for that particular app that is called web apps okay and if you go for native apps is nothing but uh, which is a app you are developed like some uh, developer developed the app for individually that app if you are using the storage there you are going to like uh, uh, google play store or ios play store like apple store if you are doing something downloaded one app and working installed into your mobile and you are working for that particular app which is you can able to say flipkart or amazon or mintra any kind of app you are downloaded or installed and you are doing work for that that is called native apps means any app that is a develop and keep it something and they are going to use it for that all are coming for uh, native apps that is a single platform type you can able to say developed in specific for one platform and uh, store uh, into one play stores app stores and using okay hybrid apps is nothing but the combination of web app and native apps that's both the combination is content presented that is called hybrid 
okay hybrid apps are way to exposing the content from the existing websites and app format any existing content the format will be present for app type okay that is called hybrid apps are presented okay and uh, nowadays we have so many tools available in the market in that we are going to choose for appium appium server this is appium server we can able to call it and this is basically open source requirement okay open source tool very open source everybody can able to use easily and large community support are presented okay and here what will happen in the appm it is basically we can able to touch touch should run cross simulator we can able to call it as a simulator or emulator emulators and real devices real device means nothing but you are mobile which is having for that simulator or emulator if you call it as a simulator is nothing but ios device related format and emulator is uh, related to uh, virtual device of android why virtual means uh, everybody is not having a money to buy it uh, ios devices which is latest version lower versions right and also android also all the devices cannot be handled but what will happen this appium provides one particular simulators or emulators okay like similar format of your mobile how it is presented the same to same it is presented for that that particular app it is look like the similar real device presented the real device which we are automated for simulator same code it will work for real device as well because it is a same kind of approaches as presented okay and also this appm it supports supports all programming languages languages all programming language it is supporting okay and also it is a open source that is a main point of okay why appm is the only thing to choose it we have so many uh, uh, automated apps or uh, uh, programming things are presented then why you are going for appm only means here basically it is support for cross platform cross platform is nothing but we can able to do for android and ios we can and also we can able to test for native hybrid and web apps both the cases like we can able to do it for that okay and also it allows you to communicate communicate with other apps also communicate with the other app other app is nothing but we can able to whatsapp or facebook or something apps are we are going to communicate okay and also no pre compilation of uh, your app nothing required to compilations and also it is supported for uh, inbuilt of uh, inbuilt inbuilt apps that's called alarms <coughs> alarm and also phone uh, calculator etc okay and also uh, we can able to try, uh, use it for any programming language any programming language it will support okay the languages we can able to say java python 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 c sharp like this we can able to use any programming do you have any limitation about this app it means yes little bit uh, presented because android version if you are using below version of uh, 17 version uh, it will work out on that okay means android version of 4.1 we can able to say 4.1 versions are not supporting in uh, after that only it will supporting for that apps okay and also scripting level if you are doing for any scripting execution is very 
less slow on iOS and Android virtual devices. Okay, no support for toaster messengers. There is a messenger format of toaster is presented. We need to handle for that. No parallel execution directly. We can handle using for source lab. By using the source lab, we can able to do for parallel executions and all. But when you are using for without source lab, we parallel execution very bad, uh, very high. What is APM is? <clears throat> APM is? APM is nothing but is a mobile app like a web and negative and hybrid software application to developing supporting by the source labs. Okay, it is a completely open source automation tool which is useful for automate for Android and iOS. Okay, and if you see for Android uh, APM uh, architecture, if you see this is the format of architecture will flow. On. Okay. Any Selenium scripting, like any programming language scripting, when you are doing for something, okay, client side you are making some request, it will use for JSON format. That is the content which all the capabilities. Capability is nothing but desired capability and configuration set of code is presented. Okay, desired capability is nothing but uh, the set, the browsers and which app, which server, which version of app and uh, whether it is Android device or iOS device or Blackberry or uh, Windows, which kind of thing we are going to use, that is the one we are going to send you for by using the desired capability. By using the desired capability, when you making for the request, it is converted in back to a JSON format. Okay. And that JSON, it will go and hit into the Appium server. In the Appium server, when it is make the request, by default, Appium server is developed by using for Node.js, written in Node.js. In that Node.js, it is commit to the, the entire desired capability of the client, Appium server, sends the, uh, the request to the UI automator. This UI automator. In this Appium automator, it will take for UI automator to any Android or iOS device, uh, the session ID, and that transforming to the communication, and that uh, make the request to the particular device, which device you are going to make the request at, that way we can able to request it. Once our ex uh, execution is complete, it will go back to sit into the same place. The APM will not close until you close for that. Okay. This is a way the flow structure will be presented for the APM structure. Okay. There's a simple information. Okay. And next video session, we will see for how we can able to install Android Studio and virtual devices creation and software. What all the software is required to do for automation. Okay. We'll see for one by one and we'll make for easy to learn for that. Thank you for watching. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to like and comments. Thank you.